Hi, I am SP sir and then today I will teach you enzyme inhibition. Enzyme inhibition is a topic which is very important because all our metabolic processes, all our physiological processes are regulated and these regulation is through different types of inhibitions and we know uh, there are different metabolic enzymes which uh, governs metabolism and this metabolism uh, is affected by different metabolic mediators and how do they affect that uh, metabolic reaction they inhibit the metabolic reaction uh, so that that by this inhibition those metabolic reactions that should not occur or we want to inhibit those metabolic reactions those metabolic reactions get inhibited so there are other drugs also which acts um, drugs are small molecules which acts on enzymes to inhibit an enzyme so there are these inhibition has different types the whatever whatever today our discussion is about inhibition these inhibitions has different roles in metabolism different roles in medicine and different roles in other physiological processes uh, so uh, it's a very important topic actually enzyme inhibition so why why uh, why uh, uh, actually we we um, we um, uh, go on to study while actually we go on to study enzymic inhibition we will um, get those examples we will learn those examples where enzyme inhibition becomes very vital for a metabolic process to um, get slower gets uh, slow uh, for a metabolic process to get increased um, so we will learn all those after we learn the basics of enzyme inhibition now coming to this uh, inhibition point um, i'll first say what are the properties of enzyme inhibition i have jotted down those properties and i'll read those properties at the, and i'll explain those one by one now this is the process of enzyme inhibition let's um, uh, jot down these properties one by one say enzyme inhibition this is the first property of an enzyme inhibition that is that this inhibition that the inhibitor is a inhibition with inhibitor which binds to the enzyme binds it can bind it binds to the enzyme it inhibits the enzyme but it can dissociate from the enzyme also so it's a kind of reversible reaction it can dissociate it can bind as well as it can dissociate when it when it is required it, it will dissociate in nature it dissociate from the enzyme so it is a kind of reversible reversible nature that operates and th this inhibition is reversible in nature and uh, what why by while we, while we say that it's reversible in nature so um, we say that it's loosely bound the inhibitors loosely bound to the enzyme and um, it, it, uh, it the, the activity of the that i have noted in the second point the enzymic activity can be restored by dialysis you know by a dialysis what is dialysis dialysis is simply um, uh, uh, with a membrane we put those enzymes and the uh, enzyme bound inhibitors uh, are present in a, in a solution and the inhibitors being small molecules get out from the membrane pores while enzymes being larger bigger protein molecules remain within the membrane and the inhibitors go out so while we dialyze the enzyme uh, with the inhibitor bound in a inhibitor bound enzyme the in inhibition is lost the enzyme the inhibitor uh, non attaches itself from the enzyme the third point is about inhibition is low molecular weight ligands low molecular weight my ligands means that these ligands can be any <coughs> drugs it can be any hormone it can be any other uh, metabolic mediator these these low molecular uh, weight ligands binds to the enzyme binds to the enzyme to result binding of the ligand to the enzyme results in the lowering of catalytic activity and and we know cat enzyme actually does catalysis so it it, it, it decreases the catalytic activity of the enzyme and oh, what while they how can this catalytic activity so what are the measures of this catalytic activity the measures are the initial velocity may be lowered the came or the binding of the substrate came is what is what is came came reflects the binding the actual uh, substrate affinity of the enzyme 
the binding, how the, in, in the substrates bind to the enzyme, that K may be lowered, the v, then the Vmax may be lowered. This, so these are the parameters, V0, K, these, these parameters are enzyme activity parameters. These activity parameters are lowered. Now, the, the fourth point about inhibition, the fourth point of inhibition is the inhibitor binds by non-covalent easily dissociable bonds. Non-covalent covalent bonds are very strong bonds. They have high energy. They are, but these these bonds, but the inhibitor binds with the enzyme with loosely, very loosely. They bind very loosely with non-covalent bonds. They do not bind with covalent bonds. They bind with van der Waals forces, hydrogen bonds. Those are easy, easily dissociable bonds. So, electrostatic interactions, they bind with easily dissociable bonds. So, these are the examples. So, these are the four properties that I have just told you that what is enzyme about enzyme inhibition. Now, what are the types of enzyme inhibition? I go on to the types of enzyme inhibition. What is What are the different types of enzyme inhibition? And what are the properties of those inhibitions? The first type is competitive inhibition, competitive inhibition. What is competitive inhibition? Competitive inhibition is a kind of competition that the inhibitor gives to the substrate. Is it, it is uh, something like this, uh, there is a single pocket. Suppose there is a single pocket in an enzyme molecule and it is called the active site. The enzyme does all its action in this pocket. Now there are two balls here and two ball, here, two ball here. This, these two balls can go on to this pocket, go on to this active site, but they are very similar in nature. They are very similar in nature. So, they both can bind to the active site. Now, this is the inhibitor and this is the substrate. So, the inhibitor bears a very close resemblance to the structure of the substrate. The inhibitor is actually it looks alike it looks alike so we say that the inhibitor is a substrate analog the inhibitor is a substrate analog substrate analog and it binds to the active side of the enzyme and and results in and results in inhibition of activity inhibition of enzymic activity it 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 it, it actually it it it, it will actually result in inhibition of activity by it will not allow the substrate to bind it will it will not allow the substrate to bind to the uh, bind and uh, the uh, and the uh, and it will lower the enzyme catalysis by this way so this is this is a type of the, so just we, we now just learned what is competitive inhibition now i go to the second part the, the other other inhibitions the other type of inhibitions are the second second type of inhibition is here we see uncompetitive inhibition uncompetitive inhibition what is uncompetitive inhibition it says say this is the enzyme say this is the enzyme this is a this is a this is a, a type of enzyme and here there, there is a catalytic center now if i say that some inhibitor has bound to this enzyme here so it is so it is it, it, there is no competition the the substrate can bind to the uh, catalytic center there is no competition the this 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 triangle will not go and fit into this round uh, catalytic center so there is no competition so it we, we call it un not uncompetitive uncompetitive but this inhibition will not allow this this inhibitor will not the enzyme will not allow the enzymic activity it will not allow the enzyme act activity to go in full to go in full the other thing is that the enzyme will not will not uh, um, uh, will not be able to uh, do its actions fully the, because the inhibitor is bound the other thing is that this inhibitor actually the inhibitor actually promotes the binding of this substrate to the enzyme the inhibitor actually promotes the binding of the substrate to the enzyme and it will not bind to the free enzyme unless and until the substrate is bound so says so this is the substrate which is now bound and then the inhibitor pocket opens. The inhibitor pocket opens and then the inhibitor binds. So, the, here the enzyme will bind, you know, the, the free enzyme that is enzyme, the enzyme that is not bound to the substrate will not bind to the inhibitor, will not bind to the inhibitor. The, but the ES complex after the substrate has bound to the, uh, bound to the enzyme, then the pocket will open up. 
and the inhibitor will bind. So, the ES complex will bind to the mm, inhibitor. The ES complex will bind to the inhibitor and we actually say that inhibitor actually promotes the formation of ES complex. The inhibitor now promotes the formation of ES complex. Actually, it will, it will, it will, it, it, it will create such a situation that it will tell the inhibit, uh, inhibitor, come on, come on, come on, you bind to the enzyme, then I will bind and it will create a complex which is called enzyme substrate inhibitor means a ternary complex instead of a binary complex in um, the competitive inhibition in competitive inhibition we say that there is an enzyme inhibitor complex it's a binary complex here we say that it's a ternary complex enzyme inhibitor enzyme substrate inhibitor bound and it will it will lower the vmax it the, it will lower the vmax the vmax will be lowered and the km value will in, increases now what is <coughs> I'm sorry, the KM value, the KM value is actually lowered. Why? Why the KM value is lowered? Because while while a KM is what we, 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 we have learned from the earlier classes, what is KM? KM, KM is what? KM is, the, KM is the measure of substrate affinity. KM is a measure of substrate affinity. KM is a measure of substrate affinity. Now, more the value of KM, more the value of KM, say KM has a value of 4 millimole, more the value of KL, KM, uh, and now it has increased to 8 millimole. So, it, it, if it is a measure of substrate affinity and substrate affinity at which half Vmax is attained, so at 4 millimole, at 4 millimole of substrate, the half Vmax is attained. At 8 millimole of substrate, the half Vmax is attained. At 8 millimole of substrate, half Vmax is attained. So, actually, when the Km value increases, here, here it increases, the Km value is increases. So, we say that the substrate affinity has decreased. The substrate affinity has decreased. Why? Because increases in the Km value, now, 8 millimole of substrate is required. 8 millimole of substrate is required to attain half Vmax. You remember this curve? So, if, the, if this is this is full Vmax and this is half Vmax, now this is Km. This is the substrate concentration here and this is the velocity. This is half Vmax, this is full Vmax. Vmax and this is half Vmax and the substrate concentration that is required to attain half Vmax is the Km. This substrate concentration is called the Km. So, now 8 millimole of substrate concentration is required. Km value has doubled. So, the increase in Km value, if the Km value is increased, we say that the substrate affinity is lowered. So, here the Km value is lowered. In, in case of uncompetitive inhibition, the Km value is lowered. Why the Km value is lowered? Because thus actually what, what, what the, the inhibitor, the inhibitor will actually, it is, it, 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 it is actually telling the substrate, come on substrate, come on substrate, bind to the enzyme, bind to the enzyme and, the, and then I will bind to you to form the ESI complex. It will actually, it is actually promoting the, it is actually promoting the substrate binding. So, the Km value is lowered. That suppose that the Km value is lowered means the substrate affinity has got increased. Now, the enzyme uh, is, is telling the substrate, uh, the enzyme is loving the substrate. It is loving, it is, it has, its, its affinity is increased means enzyme is now uh, loving the substrate, it is binding to the substrate more and more. So, the came, lowering of Km value is, is, is actually, what is lowering of Km value? Lowering of Km value is the increase in substrate affinity. And this higher, higher uh, this, this increase in Km value that I have just told you, 4 millimole to 8 millimole, the increase in Km value is actually a lowering of substrate affinity. The Km value in case of competitive enzyme is increased, just like this. Here, the Km value is increased. So, the Km value in case of competitive enzyme is increased. But in case of uncompetitive enzyme, the Km is lowered. Just the opposite. The Km is lowered. And the Vmax is also lowered. V because enzyme with this enzyme with this inhibitor baggage will not be able to uh, attain the same Vmax. 
but in case of competitive inhibition in case of competitive inhibition the vmax will remain unaffected why this happens vmax will remain unaffected there will be no increase as well as decrease the vmax is is not affected it, it is not no increase or decrease either increase or decrease there will be nothing why that happens in case of a competitive enzyme i'll tell you you just note this point in case of competitive enzyme vmax is unaffected while km increases km increases means the substrate affinity is lowered km increases from 4 millimole to 8 millimole that means substrate affinity is lowered in case of uncompetitive enzyme the km is lowered just the opposite of comp uh, uh, competitive enzyme km is lowered and vmax is also lowered vmax is also lowered but here the vmax remains in case of competitive enzyme the vmax remains unaffected why that happens that i'll explain let me explain it here now vmax what is what is vmax vmax is the highest steady state level highest steady state level of enzymic reaction say this is the this is the vmax and we say this is the this is a, this is a, the the reaction has attained equilibrium here and it is the highest steady state equilibrium equilibrium state and this is we we say vmax and we, we plot velocity against substrate concentration molar concentration of substrate we we say that this is vmax at when an enzyme attains its maximum velocity there is a huge amount of substrate see the substrate concentration is much more than the initial parts where the enzyme activity was increasing where the enzyme enzyme velocity was increasing this was at lower substrate lower substrate concentrations lower substrate concentrations these substrate concentrations but at higher at only higher substrate concentrations at higher substrate concentration vmax is reached so at this substrate concentration at this much higher substrate concentration the substrates outweigh the substrates outweigh the inhibitor it will simply cancel out the inhibitor it will simply cancel out the, uh, come on you are you are so small in numbers you just get out the inhibitors just gets outnumbered and so the vmax is retained what vmax is retained in case of competitive inhibition the vmax is not lowered vmax is a parameter of an enzyme uh, with uh, of, a, of a specific uh, of an of a very specific enzyme with a substrate every enzyme with its substrate is very specific is a very specific reaction every enzyme so that it has every enzymatic reaction with its substrate has a vmax has a km these are very specific reaction uh, specific reactions and these parameters are very constant parameters but here with the inhibitor will not alter the hemax the, the in case of competitive inhibition the inhibitor will not be able to alter the vmax because the at vmax is attained at much higher substrate concentrations and at those substrate concentrations at those high substrate concentrations actually the inhibitor uh, is outweighed by the substrate the substrates will outweigh the inhibitor the substrates will tell that we are much more in number come on get out so this happens in case of competitive inhibition the vmax is not altered the km increases the km value increases the substrate affinity is lowered km increase means just the opposite the substrate affinity is lowered and in case of uncompetitive inhibition the enzyme will bind to the es complex because it promotes the es complex we we, we, we tell that the km is lowered the km value is lowered and the vmax is also lowered because once it binds the inhibitor binds to the es complex it will not allow the catalytic activity of the enzyme so the vmax is lowered now i'll come to another type of inhibition which is called which is in between this two which is in between this two type of inhibition we, we say it as a mixed inhibition it is it is between it is it is like in some parts it is like competitive and in some parts it is like uncompetitive inhibition so we term this as mixed inhibition both mixing of competitive and uncompetitive now uh, you, um, 
is so this is the terminology that it says it, it that the inhibitor is actually a mixed type of inhibitor it will uh, in, in some properties it will uh, follow the properties of a competitive inhibition and in other properties it will follow the properties of uncompetitive inhibition so we say that this is a mixed inhibitor now what happens in a mixed inhibitor it will the mixed inhibitor will uh, will bind to the enzyme will bind to the enzyme either in the catalytic site just like the substrate or it may bind to the enzyme other than the catalytic site like uncompetitive inhibition the other than the catalytic site so it 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 it, it can it can bind to the free enzyme it can bind to the free enzyme and formed e enzyme inhibitor complex and it can also bind to the es complex to form the ternary esi complex now we see that these in this binding this uh, we, you cannot you if, if we see the, this binding every binding every uh, reaction has a rate constant so this inhibitor binding with the inhibitor binding with the enzyme has a rate constant the inhibitor binding with the enzyme substrate complex has a rate constant so these rate constants should be different because these are different reactions altogether so and this type of uh, mixed inhibitions this type of uh, uncompetitive inhibitions takes place in bisubstrate and multisubstrate reactions that i will explain you later on this bisubstrate and multisubstrate terminology anyway now you, you can stay on this uh, point that the inhibitor will bind to the enzyme it can bind to the free enzyme and it can both bind to the enzyme substrate complex to form the ternary esi comp esi and it, ha it has different rate constant so if the inhibitor binds to the free enzyme we say, we say that the rate constant is ki if the bi inhibitor binds to the es complex we say that the rate constant is ki dash so these these are the different rate constant of the reaction the binding the inhibitor binding so there are two types of rate constants that we will consider in case of mixed inhibition this is this is this is like the competitive inhibition this is like competitive inhibition where ki uh, ki is uh, like inhib the inhibitor can bind to the free enzyme and this is much like the, this ki dash is like uncompetitive inhibition where the uh, it, it, it it binds to the es complex now i will go to the finer details of finer details of inhibition i will now uh, highlight some more finer details of inhibition while while a enzyme while a enzyme gets inhibited it 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 its activity is lowered and it is reflected by the changes in km vmax so this changes in km and vmax is either is is through a is through a definite factor that means if 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 a km is lowered if I, if i say that the km is lowered we if the km is lowered so we can we 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 take it as how much how much the km is lowered by a factor by a factor say if if this factor is greater than 1 if this factor is greater than than 1 than 1 than 1 then we can say that um, okay fine the km is if we multiply that factor uh, greater than 1 and then we say that this factor is alpha and we say that uh, and we multiply km by alpha so it, if it is there greater than 1 then km is it actually increases the k, then the km increases if, if this factor is less than 1 uh, we say that the km decreases but what but in in the in case of enzymatic inhibitions there is no such factor which is less than 1 we we while we increase uh, uh, km we say that the that we multiply km with a factor which is greater than 1 while we decrease km we do just the reverse we divide km by alpha and say that it is this factor which decreases this km if the alpha is always greater than 1 so if km is divided by alpha which is a factor which is greater than 1 so km decreases and km increases uh, while we multiply km with alpha so what is alpha alpha is that uh, now we need to define alpha alpha this alpha factor comes from the enzymic inhibition point of view 
the inhibition point of view what is alpha alpha is a factor which is greater than one just now i told you so alpha is one plus inhibitor concentration by the rate constant by which the inhibitor binds to the enzyme the ki i told you about km km is uh, the rate constant the, the, it is it is it is it is it is a composite of rate constants the, uh, the I, I showed you uh, ki k1 plus k2 by k uh, k1 plus k uh, k1 plus k minus 1 by k2 just uh, I, I told you that previous day while while uh, we derived michaelis menten equation so it is a it is a ratio of rate constants here also the alpha is what alpha is what alpha is a factor which is greater than 1 and it is what it is 1 plus i the inhibitor concentration by ki or alpha dashed is 1 plus i by ki dashed now you'll ask me why these two different alphas so this is for competitive inhibition and this is for uncompetitive inhibition where we say the uncompetitive inhibitor uncompetitive inhibitor we say that uncompetitive inhibitor binds to the es complex so this it, it is it is a different rate constant here it's a different rate constant ki is for binding to the enzyme for inhibitor binding to the enzyme forming the ei complex and this is for esi complex enzyme substrate inhibitor complex that is alpha dash both this alpha and alpha dash they are different but they are greater than one they are alpha and alpha dash both are factors which are greater than one and if a parameter of any enzymatic parameter say k say v max is lowered so we divide is lowered say km is lowered km decreases by a factor alpha Km increases by a factor alpha. That, that means that uh, we multiply Km with alpha. So Vmax is increases. So Vmax into alpha. If Vmax decreases, Vmax by alpha. So we operate it like this way. Now I will go to the finer details of competitive inhibition. Competitive inhibition with keeping in mind all these factors. Now I told you that uh, I will just uh, quickly brush up the michaelis menten equation. So through michaelis menten equation we know that the velocity of an enzymatic reaction is given by Vmax into S by Km plus S. This is this much we know and if we if we make a reciprocal of this equation it is 1 by v equal to km plus s by v max s by v max s s and s goes away 1 by s we separate out this s as y so 1 by v is equal to equivalent to y this part becomes m km by v max is the slope of the uh, straight line it is we separate out this km by v max into 1 by s plus 1 by v max and we know that the y equal to and we uh, draw it as an um, as a similar equation like that of a straight line so y equal to mx x is 1 by s so it is a changeable parameter s changes subset concentration changes velocity is changes so it is it is also, also a changeable parameter y and x are changeable parameters of this equation plus 1 by v max is c it is a constant v max is constant for any enzyme substrate couple so m is what came by v max this is just a revision this part was just a revision from my previous class